Ryan Borden here, aka Loopline. In this video, we're going to cover the new social checker add on in Scrapebox. So, if you don't have it installed, you can go to add ons, show available add ons, and then it is the social checker add on. Just find it in here and click on it, and you're good to go. And there's more than one social, so this is a social account scraper. That's not what this video is about. This is the social checker add on. And so, it's been rebuilt. And then we go to add-ons, the social checker add-on down here, and launch it. And then it's going to pop up here, and we can see that it's basically scraping a list of URLs, which we can load in, for different things. So we can get Alexa data, although Alexa, I believe actually it, it got retired already just a few weeks ago here in 2022. If not, it will be retired soon, Alexa's end of life. So that will go away, obviously, and won't work. Facebook, we do need a Facebook application ID for that, which we'll talk about in a moment, and then Pinterest data. So let's go ahead and get a Facebook application ID so that we can load some URLs and check it out. Rest of the add-ons pretty basic. We're just going to load URLs, start, recheck, and stop pretty easy. And under settings, we have some connections and the option to check the domain only. So like if you want data from the actual URL, which is like a page on the website or just the main domain only. And then if you're in Europe due to GDPR and privacy laws and terms of service and splash pages, you wanna make sure you place a check mark in that box. And so let's go ahead and get the Facebook application ID. We can see we're looking for an app ID and a secret key in this, which is the same format as used in Scrapebox for other things. And all I'm going to do here actually is go to Google and then just search Facebook application ID. The first thing that pops up, at least for me, is how to get a Facebook application ID and secret key um, from this, the nettechnologies.com. There's probably plenty of other, like here's Stack Overflow. There's plenty of guides depending on what year you watch this and when it is and that sort of thing, if it's 2023 or 2027, whatever. Um, then this is the actual link to Facebook as well. So this is the guide, which is kind of cool because it has some walkthroughs. Obviously, I'm sure Facebook will change things over time. So I'm just going to go here into the developers section and click get started. And obviously, you need a Facebook account for this. So I already have a Facebook account. So let's walk, just walk through here, click continue, verify the account. So let me just pause this. I'm going to go ahead and put my phone number in and send the, mo uh, the verification SMS here. And so I went ahead and punched in my phone number and then it asks under contact to verify your email address. That's pretty basic. I'm sure you can do that. Once we get here, we want to say that we are looking for developer options and complete the registration. And so once we do that, we need to create an app. So there's different you know, we see it multiple buttons in multiple places. Again, Scrapebox or Scrapebox. Facebook may change this. And so let's create an app here. And the type of app that we're going to go for is just a business app. I'm not sure if other ones will work, but I know business works. So that's what we're going to go with. And we can display name. Um, I'm just going to call this test environment. We don't actually have to have a working application that we're going to develop here and it doesn't actually have to do anything. Um, we're just setting up an account with Facebook if we were going to create an app and instead we're going to use that in an app that's already created called Scrapebox and it's going to get the data for us. So I'm just going to call it that and then um, punch in an email address here for contact and then business account optional here and my phone's going off. And I'm just going to go ahead and select Loopline Digital Marketing. That happens to be, I have a business account. Um, I don't believe that you need a business account for that. And we're going to create the app. And then now I have to, for security, I need to enter my password. This is for my Facebook account. And I did that. And now it bumped us over here to add products to your app. And so we're going to select Facebook login. Again, you could just find a guide and walk through if this doesn't work exactly because again Facebook might change it but set up Facebook login and then we're gonna go here and we're going to go under Facebook login over here on the left and go to settings and then under settings we have to put in a valid OAuth redirects URL so this can be basically any kind of thing so So I'm just going to put in scrapeboxfact.com. It doesn't even have to be a website, again, that has anything going on here. Save changes. And then once we have saved changes here and we have a URL in here, we got to go to settings up here. And we're going to go to basic. 
And once we get to fa basic, we'll see our app ID and our secret key. So we can just right click copy this and put it into scrape box. And then we can click um, show here to get our app secret key. But basically the format looks like this. So, so you can see here I have the app ID, so it's gonna go here. And let's say my secret key happens to be 777777777A, whatever it is, right? So that's gonna be the format. So I'm gonna take this format, I'm gonna paste this right here under settings and scrape box, and I'm done. And it set, shows that right here, and just click OK. So this, and this key in the middle is the pipe key. Um, on a, a North American uh, keyboard, it's above the inner key, and I'm not sure where it is on all keyboards around the world, but it's called the pipe key. Uh, you can Google it. And so that's that. And once you're done with that, then we can load in some URLs. So let me just get this all loaded up with some URLs here. So I loaded up some URLs. I'm gonna go ahead and place a tick mark here in Facebook. And we'll see if Alexa is already end of life. I think it is. I think it was just a few weeks ago. Um, and so this is all set up and we're gonna get hit start here. And I've turned the connections down. Um, I did not actually research what the connection limit was for the Facebook app ID. I'd imagine it's pretty high and they default the connections to 10 and it does look like it's going through here and getting Alexa. So I guess it's not shut down yet. Um, and then Facebook and then Pinterest. So there's some, some delay. It's not like it's hammering away on Facebook all at once. So that helps. Um, and then it's just wrapping up connections here. And then when we're done, we can have a look at the export options here and we can export to file or export to Excel. So let me do that and then I'll show you what those look like. So I've gone ahead and exported here. Um, exporting to file looks like this. You're going to get this nice notepad option. That's a CSV. It's a saved as TXT, but you could rename that to a CSV because it's set up as a comma separated value format. And so we can see the columns here, um, which is uh, in alignment with this 2090 is our Alexa and then Facebook and then Pinterest. And we could do what we want with that. And then in Excel format, it actually gives us the column headers here so we can see everything going on um, and then gives us all of the information there. And so that is the social checker add-on. I do know Alexa is going away at some point. The Alexa toolbar is going to be end of life here in 2022 at some point. And so once that happens, that will go away. But um, Facebook is obviously a great resource. And then Pinterest is a great resource as well. And that is how you can set up the social checker add-on in Scrapebox. If you don't have Scrapebox, click the link up here now or go to scrapebox.com and you can roll down here and pick up your copy. And if you miss it, it's in the video description down below. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.